Welcome back to my channel. I am Dada Elias Adebowale. In this video, I will be putting you through on how to create an interlocking letter logo design on Canva. I mean, using your smartphone in designing irrespective of any logo you want to make use of. Therefore, if a businessman who intends to make your logo by yourself, this video is surely for you. However, I will implore you to watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you'll be able to see to how I go through about this. Moreover, I will be working on the plant page. Therefore, let's dive into our logo properly. This is my Canva interface. Therefore, I click on logo. Now it is loading. This is my logo interface where we are having variety of uh, logo templates. But in this case, I'm going to click on the blank page. I click on my blank page. This is it. This is my blank page. Therefore, I want to make an interlocking letter logo designs using my Canva. All I need to do, I click on this very particular plus sign. Then I click on text. Then I click on this add a heading. Now, after clicking on it, then I type T. Then I change the font to Lucky Bones. Let me type it here. This is it, Lucky Bones. Then here it is. Now I will make it a bold. Now you can see this is my T. Here it is. Now this is it. Now another thing I'm going to type, I'm going to type S. Now let me click on this to duplicate. Now I've duplicated. Now let me change it to S. This is our S. And this S, I want to change it to another font. Now the font I'm going to use is a Blanca. Now let me search for it. Blanca. I change the font to Blanca. Then I type in Blanca. Then this is it. This is my S. Another thing I will need to change the color of the font to red. Now I look for red. Now I've changed it to red. Then that is what I'm going to do here. Now after I might have done this, I will need to make adjustment to my S. Now this is it. I want it to be here. I'm okay. Or let me use my notch to arrange it. Okay, I'm okay like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this very particular S. Then I click on these three dots. I copy. Then when I copy, I come to this very particular place where I will click on this second page. Then I double click on it. Then I press it down there. I click on paste. Then this is it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to download this very particular S by clicking on this icon. Then I click on it. Now I've clicked on it. Then I click on uh, download. I click on download. Then the next thing is to click on this very particular. You can see we're having it on uh, page two. We are going to click on page two or because uh, we want to download the page two. Then I click on done. The other thing is that I need to download it with a transparent background by clicking on this. But if I should click on this, it is going to bring me to this very particular area where it will ask me to upgrade. But don't worry. This is what we are going to do. All because we are on a free fashion. If you are using Pro, then you need to download with a transparent background. But because we are on a free fashion, we won't be able to do this. Now, the next thing is to click on download. Don't worry. Then click on download. It is downloading. This is our work. It has finished downloading. Now, the next thing is to go to any of our browser to remove this very particular white background. We will have done it while we are downloading the other time. But all because we are on a free fashion, we will be able to do that. Now, the next thing is to go to any of your browser. This is my browser. Then you type in uh, remove uh, BG. But I've worked on it here before. You just type in uh, remove uh, BG. You can see here. 
Then I click on uh, on this very particular icon of uh, remove BG. Then I upload the image I want to remove the background from. Then I click on this file. Then clicking on the file. Then I click on uh, this week. Let me have it here. Okay, this is it. Then I click on it. Then it is, uh, you know, preparing to upload the image. This is our work. It has finished removing the background. The next thing is to click on download. Then I click on download. Now it has been downloaded on our device. Then the next thing is to go to your Canva. This is my Canva. Now, then I will now click on this very particular S that we are having here. Let me click on it. You click on it. Then you come to where you are having position. This is our position. Then click on position. Make sure you click on uh, to back. Now you click on to back. The next thing is to click on this very particular plus icon that we are having in the purple circle. Then you click on it. Then come to this upload. Then click on upload. Then click on uh, upload files to upload the image. Then click on this uh, uh, very particular area. Then click on this to upload it. Now this is it. It is uploading. We are going to have it here. Now this is it. It is uploading. Now the next thing is to click on this. Then I'll click on it. Now after I have clicked on it. Then the next thing is to bring it here. Then when you bring it there. Then you drag it. To that of the page. Where we are having the page. Don't make that mistake. This is it. Then come here to look for your position. Then click on to back again. Now, the next thing is to click on this very particular plus again. Then click on this uh, S to upload it. Now, here it is. Then bring it here as well. Then drag it to this very particular area. This is it. Now, the next thing is to look for the position. Therefore, you click on to front. Now, after you might have done this, the next thing is to come here. Now, drag this downward. You drag it. You can see. You can see that is how to create an interlocking letter logo design on Canva. You can see that the two letters are interlocked. As we are having our interlocking letter logo designs here, I'm going to add some certain thing to it. So that it will be very so beautiful. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've already downloaded a particular things I want to make use of here. What is that thing? Go to any of your browser. Although you can get those things on a uh, element under your Canva, but that is when you're on pro fashion. But if you're on free fashion, you are limited to some certain element to be used. Therefore, if you are working on a free fashion, go to any of your browser, then type in cuff lines and download any of your choice. I've already downloaded my own. This is the next thing I'm going to do. I will click on this very particular plus sign. Then I will go to my upload. I go to my upload. Now this is my upload. I have some certain thing there that I've already uploaded. Now this is what I want to make use of. Then I click on this. Then after clicking on it, this is it. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Okay. This is it. A little bit wider. Okay. Now this is it. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on adjust. Then I click on the temperature. Then I click on uh, Fignet. Then I bring it here. You can see. Now, another thing I can still do, I can still go to Saturation. Then let me click on Saturation. Okay. Then the next thing I will come to where we're having a position. I click on it. I click to back. You can see. This is it. This is our work. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to type in the name of the brand. Then I type in taste. Okay. 
Let me have this here. Let me duplicate it to type in um, store. Okay, that is store. Now, other thing I'm going to do here, I will change this font to Anton. I want to change the font to Anton. I change it to Anton. This is it. Then here as well, I change it to Anton. Then another thing I will need to do here is to rotate this. Let me put it like this. Then this one as well. Let me rotate it. Now, as we're having it here, this taste, let me see to the font size. We're having it for 22. Okay. 22 is still okay. Now, that is our logo. That is how to create an interlocking letter logo design on Canva using our smartphone. You can see how beautiful our logo is. Then after we want to finish our work, the next thing is to click on this uh, download icon. Then you click on it. After you might have clicked on it, then select it this way. Click on download. Then we have it for PNG. Leave it like that. Then come to download. Then when you come to download, you download your work. After then, if you want to remove the background, if you are on pro fashion, you can do it here. But if you are not on pro fashion, all you need to do, go to any of your browser and type in a BG background remover. From there, you do all the necessary things you want to do. If you have found this very particular video useful and you want me to upload more of its kinds, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and comment on the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.